<clears throat> let's get on to this game. We'll see what happens what? in the coming hours with Devontae Adams and hopefully in the coming weeks for Amari Cooper as he needs to get out of that hellhole in Cleveland. But we did have a game on Monday night. Chiefs walked away big victors by two scores against the Saints. The game was really a lot closer than the score indicated, though it was completely was touch and go there for a little bit, but it realistically, it was complete yeah. domination by the Kansas yeah. City Chiefs. It really, really Thank was. Patrick that. Mahomes with a 300-plus yard game uh, through the air, no touchdowns uh, passing for him. We did have the rushing touchdown. We have one passing. T- did he have a passing touchdown? You had an interception, my friend. Uh, he, he did have an interception, no passing touchdowns. We had a rushing touchdown from uh, Kareem Hunt, and then we had another rushing touchdown, I believe it was, from Xavier Worthy. Yep. Um, so very, very good. And defense coming out strong on top. I did notice something uh by DVOA. A lot of people, not a lot of people, a couple people, friends of mine, have been saying that the Chiefs defense has been bad. Uh the Chiefs per schedule, whether offense or defense, D- by DVOA, which is the defensive variation, right? Uh taking into all aspects of uh or deviated variations. Sorry, not defensive variation, but deviated variations. Uh the the Chiefs have had the hardest schedule in the league by DVOA this year. So are you making is that a hypothetical DVOA? No, 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 no. That is a, a true DVOA. I saw it the this morning uh, by DVOA. The Chiefs have had the toughest schedule in the league through five weeks. Is that just because they're playing everybody close, or is that just because of who they've played? Uh, who they've played? Who they've played? It's it's taken off of who they have played. So by the deviated uh, variable adjustments, uh, the they have determined that the Chiefs have had the toughest schedule for who they have played in five weeks. Well, see, I think too. I think the Chiefs have kind of helped bring everybody up with them because everyone has to play their best football and get ready to play their best football against the Chiefs. Try and knock off the champ, and so you're like, hey. We might have lost to the Chiefs. You know, I think teams are finding wins in those losses to the Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? Like the Chargers were probably like, fuck, man. Like we we stuck in there with them. No one thought we had a damn chance, you know? And um, uh, definitely, well, the Ravens stumbled after playing <laughs> at playing you guys but <clears throat> hey, hey uh but uh but no I think I think it's probably it probably helps elevate teams a little bit too. I would say yeah, and that, they and definitely that, play us harder. I, I would yeah. agree with that, um, though they're usually not that good, a la Bengals. I love seeing that. Yeah, but they still love played it. you tough. You know what I'm no, saying? No, like, did. like that's you're going to get everybody's we, best. And when you learn you can give your best and play like that against the Chiefs, you're going to do that for the rest of the year, and hopefully you can get some wins, okay. minus the Bengals. Well, I, every, I will say that. Every team has to realize that the Chiefs are just coasting right now. Like, we're not even close to our best. Coasting. They, they're coasting. just straight coasting. We're out our top. We're out our number one and number two running back. We're out our number one and number two wide receivers. Travis, up until we five four performances left and right, don't really have a solidified left tackle. Um, Patrick, see, I, I hate how you game. say he had a poor performance. It's not like he played fine. He just didn't have as many catches and as many yards and as many touchdowns as he usually have. That doesn't mean he didn't play good. Yeah. God. I mean, I, I'm just yeah going from a, <laughs> from a little statistical thing, right? perspective. He he, pl- he, he was a team fucking player for four weeks because that's yeah, what they needed glue from guy. glue guy. He's not a glue guy. <laughs> no, no, he he showed that he wasn't a, a glue guy uh, many 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 times over. Uh, he dates Taylor Swift. He's not a glue guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but man, they, there were so many. There's so You're many things that went right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, there's so many uh, good things that happened in this game. Something that that finally turned around. You know, we've we're. I I called it out, and then I sent it in the group chat. What was going to happen this week? Lots of motions. We're gonna get. We're gonna get weird lineups. We're gonna get guys in in position. We're gonna figure out if they're in man, if they're in zone. A lot of pre-snap reads to let us know what's gonna happen in this game. We got back to the basics. We got back to the normal things. Now we've got some red zone issues. We'll cover that too. But overall, the Chiefs got back to the normal things that were going on and creating mismatches and figuring out pre-snap what was going on to make sure that guys were getting open. 
Yeah, we have some red zone problems still, but I, I honestly think Andy's just setting it all up for later on in the season. Uh, you can never guess what look he's going to have, and he's going to have one or two trick plays that are just going to hit no matter what in the playoffs, Pro- probably in the Super Bowl again like Corn Dog has. So I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, it's it sucks seeing that, but we get field goals out of it. Not what we want to see, but we get points, and our defense is still as strong as ever, so we're not worried about people coming back on us. On the point of defense, uh, well, for, firstly, Tyler, how out Ty Bob, how how much do you enjoy being right? I mean, a little being too much. Right's always I think, good. yeah, I think I don't think much. you, I don't think you hate being wrong more than you enjoy being right. <laughs> you probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. but no, uh, uh, right. to to build off of what Sean said though, the defense again, I thought played a great fucking game. I think Nick Bolton's gonna have two hundred fucking tackles this year, honestly. <laughs> If that guy keeps playing the bro, like, Stay what did I say in the middle of the game? What did I say in the middle of the game? Do you remember in the chat? I'd have to go back and look. I said, why do people keep trying to fucking get the corner on the Chiefs? Why do people keep running outside zone and fucking, you know, fly and like all this shit to, to the outside? Like, you cannot do it. I'm kind of glazing the Chiefs right now, but I like game recognizes game, and that's really you good should. fucking defense. You should because and that's uh, dude, I, I want to give you this to me. Nick I want to give you this though. stat, which Ugh. most people do Ugh. do know this, but a uh, statistic here that you'll like uh, uh, from a football guy perspective. Defensively, the Chiefs have held in the first five weeks uh, all starting running backs, all starting running backs to 135 yards. The teams that we've played with those running is backs. This, is this time, average or total? No, total. that's total. That's total? 135 yards. Yes, yeah, played Derrick Henry week backs, one. Derrick Henry. Uh, then you had, you can say it's either Zach Moss or or Chase Brown, whoever you want. Uh, then you had B. John Robinson. Uh, and then you had, who, not Gus Edwards, but J.K. Dobbins mm-hmm. uh, from the Chargers and Alvin Kamara. Those are five starting running backs. 135 Dude. yards. Total. I mean, all those guys are definitely rostered on fantasy. And I mean, one of them's Derrick Henry, who <laughs> honestly, everyone was like, ah, he looks pretty good against the Chiefs, you know, like for, for like, he had 36 and, yards against the Chiefs. I know. But and like, and that's the thing too. People are like, oh, he looked good. He's like, he had 36 <laughs> yards. He looked good for like a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> so but, if uh, you are a yeah. fantasy manager, fantasy yeah, coach, like, don't like Tommy running back saying, the Chiefs. don't start your running back against the Chiefs. Oh, They're man. not going to perform well. Oh, there was another shit. stat that I saw. Patrick Mahomes has, um, what, what 27 carries for a total of I, I wanted to say it was like 40 yards but in those 27 carries 10 of those have been for kneel downs which obviously lost yards so you Minus take two. that you, you take that away and i think he's averaging 7.6 yards per carry patrick mahomes is does that take into account his minus stats for a, for a sack uh yeah i think so does it really? Wow. That's not bad. It's pretty good. Because it's technically a rushing attempt. So if you just take away the kneel downs, he has 7.6 yards per carry, including sacks, which is insane. Take away the kneel downs, carry the two divided by six, and now you have he's averaging seven yards a carry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Math, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> you do. You guys do anything. Any, any team will do anything. Any fan will do anything to make it seem like they're doing something right, you know? And, like, <laughs> obviously the Chiefs are doing everything right, but that was that was a funny – that second stat was funny. That, that let's not forget here. Hey, hey, Ty Bob's right. Ty Bob's right? Ty uh, Bob's right. Where I, well, you know he what? I'll right. go – I'll go – I you know, I did it – I did it uh, – what was it? Last year with uh, – with, with uh, oh, gosh, what's his name now? Uh, Carl Loftus, uh, a couple years ago when we first brought in Spags, I'll, I'll issue an apology. I issued an apology last year with Carl Loftus. I'll issue one now. I wanted Formal Spags fired in his Bad. first couple seasons. Bad. Bad. I mean, I Did was you really? tweeting about it left Bad. and right. Oh, but, man. So give, give you context. The defense was bad. Now, we were coming off of a, 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 a who's that? Sutton, Bob Sutton as a defensive coordinator. So yeah. we needed to, to change a lot. So apologize, apologies to you. Sir Spags, you deserve that apology. You deserve every ring that you're getting as a defensive coordinator, maybe not a head coach, but you, sir, are the best defensive coordinator that this league has ever seen. Screw Bill Belichick. Nobody holds a, a flame whoa, to your whoa, life. Whoa, whoa. That's, that's some uh, 
And Spags we trust. Best, so that's that's best some heavy, defensive heavy words. coordinator the league has ever seen. I like I'd, uh, oof. Buddy Ryan, eighty-five Doesn't Bears. Matter. Don't care. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Wow. <laughs> Nobody I passed uh, on the have Bears. to humbly disagree with They're, you there. They, they weren't throwing the ball like they are and in, in this year. What do you in, mean? In, in 85 is 2020. McMahon was throwing it all over the fucking place. Don't care. What? Oh, best man. Defense. Also, also, I said defense. Yeah. And you defense. bring up offense. What I'm saying is, is like the the skill level was the the eras have changed. Nobody was passing in 1985 like they're passing today. And we're oh, stopping I mean, the run I mean, and the pass. No, pace. don't don't turn into a fucking basketball fan and right. be like, it's different eras. Who gives a fuck, dude? Football's always been football. It's this, hard. This, it's tough. This it hurts. Defense, this defense is the best in 85. 85 is not competing. Has this defense uh, invented anything? Don't need to. Oh, we okay. <laughs> so you're still not there yet. We, a nice we try. invented the wheel. Mm, not no, not really. Um yeah, until until he invents a defensive formation essentially and a defensive coverage, he's probably not there. But he's top five for sure. The he's probably not four blitz. or five. The Spags blitz, which is just a blitz. Like what? You don't know <laughs> engage, where it's coming from. Engage eight on third and on fourth eight. and twenty-five. He <laughs> loves that. I hated it in the first couple of years, and he loves engage eight on fourth and twenty-five with. A game I know, dude. Line. He just. I think he's just. I think he's probably the best way to describe him as a gambler. No. No, he's he's a hundred percent big time. Yeah, like it's, I it's think you kind of have to be to be it's a defensive complete coordinator. opposites of Brian Flores, who does it analytically. He's like, oh, I'm going to blitz on sixty five percent of these snaps because I'm bringing it from this way, and you're not expecting it, and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And Spags is like, you can see it. I don't care. We're still going to be in your face. Like you're not. We gonna are going to put this blitz. nine people on the line. <laughs> Stop that! And Stop. you only have five. So <laughs> fuck yourself. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, you, no. Defensively, this this is the best defensive team that we've seen. It, everybody's saying it's not better than last year's defense. I hard pass. Like this defense is better than what we saw last year. Even missing Legarius Sneed, this is ridiculous on what this team is able able to do. And now going to week five, and we stop that first drive score. Matter of fact, we actually take the ball away on the first drive. Like we're starting to see this kind of change uh, in this defense become a oh, little bit right. more ruthless. He threw that uh, interception. It, it was a nasty that, interception. That was a too. wild catch, too. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that was what I think I texted in the group chat. Fucking classic Derek Carr throwing off his yeah. back foot and <laughs> like triple coverage. Jackass. And and they did not. I, I don't know. I don't know what the Saints were thinking. They go out there, you can't run the ball. And and it's like, okay, we took away one of the things that you had. But then all you try to do, Derek Carr, is throw a deep ball. And he goes three and out, what, the next three drives after that? Oh, dude. Because they can't do anything. You're just, you're not, you're just spinning your wheels in mud because all you're trying to do is deep ball, deep ball, deep ball, deep ball. It doesn't make any, like, what are we thinking if you're Clint Kubiak? What else are you supposed to do? Take the short (laughs) routes, run a real wheel route, like gain a little bit of yards. Make make the safeties come down. Like, think of think outside the box. Clint Kubiak is supposed to be some offensive guru through the first five weeks or first four weeks of the NFL. And now, I mean, just wheels are we got We got to take that back, man. They scored, what, 95 points the first two weeks? In the first scored, two yeah, man, you got you to take then. it easy on the Clint Kubiak. Or, yeah, like, I'm not saying it. The media yeah, is saying it. Yeah, dude. They played terrible You defenses. just said that. What the fuck are you talking I said, about? I said they were saying <laughs> Clint Kubiak, some sort of offensive genius. No, I think I think it's really honestly. If the Chiefs' defense hadn't been playing as well, I probably would have turned that game off a lot earlier than I did. Because like I was just I was enamored with how well the Chiefs were playing defense. I was like, holy shit! The defense. I was really was just watching Nick Bolton. We haven't even talked <laughs> touched really on the offense. You you know we we lost all the players that we've really talked about at the beginning of this episode, and so. Then you get to it, and 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 you're left with Juju Smith-Schuster. You're left with Justin Watson and Sky Moore and McCole Hardman. That's that's really your starting four receivers, and then you still have uh, 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 Kareem Hunt, who is able to overcome that shoulder injury from the week prior, and 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 you're running uh, 14 personnel, so you got four tight ends on the field yeah, for the majority <laughs> of the game. And Jody Fortson comes in off of off of the Dolphins Gotta roster. Catch. Now he's now he's on your practice squad. Now he comes into the active squad and gets himself a catch. I was very excited when that happened. I started running around my neighborhood. 
uh, when Jody Fortson got his catch and and Noah Gray. His neighbors knew out. what was going on. Oh yeah, My, no, I, yeah. I mean, it was nuts. Yeah, I uh, I heard it, the name and I was like, oh, that's tight that's end T, that's tight end one. That's tight end one, as you guys say. <laughs> no, I think honestly, I think um, I think any of us could probably rush for a hundred yards beside your off behind your offensive line. Um, like that, the, the, your, your middle three with Tooney and, uh, and, and, and who's the fucking center. God, why am I Creed Humphrey? And then, um, old Trey Smith, Trey Smith. That's the third right there, dude. They're that, that is a, they're going to push around whoever they want to push around, honestly. And like I said, like any of us, my dad, you know, um, um, you know, anybody could probably run for a hundred yards behind them. They just, the push many, they get every single play is just so insane. How many carries would that take you, Tommy? To get to 100 yards behind that line? Yeah. I probably don't get there. I probably break my leg again. Uh, I probably <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, <laughs> you know, get like permanent brain damage. <laughs> how many like, carries until that happens? Is it only one? How many or? carries till that happens? Probably 10. Give me like 10 carries for like 15, 20 yards. 